All right, it's a beautiful day today. Um, I'm going to make a walk around on this beautiful A8 2006 remote trunk. And this one has the uh, custom closed trunk. These springs here, all right, and without a spring, it may not go up. The trunk now is even. When you put the um, the springs in, it's gonna go up a little bit. So with a spring on it, it uh, will lift up a little bit. Okay, right. the battery is over here. Now, just a reminder, uh, if you need to jump start or charge the battery, never use this one here, okay? Never open this. Use the ground for the pole here, and the positive is you can go here, okay? And this one also have um, a 12 volts I use to put my... Um, TV tuner that way I need to. See that? That's nice, huh? So in the back here sometime when we got the MMI problem or Audi navigation. This is Audi navigation right there. And this one here is the uh, radio and if you have this piece right here the fin that is a void activation uh, module inside there i also have a tv tuner all right that one is for the uh, pc if i want to connect it and a lot of time this um, these fuses here they've got burned out for some reason your MMI won't work so check these first before we do anything else satellite radio this one doesn't have the um, cold weather that package that can put the, um, the ski through all right now this car has a sport option so it doesn't have a full size spare. Make sure you have all your tools. So make sure you have a jack also. Although the jack is not very good but I haven't used it. By the way, this one here. That's how you use it. Also you have a tool kit in the back. I'm missing a few stuff, but most of the important stuff is there. This one is for the log, bolt cover, the wheels, and this one is to pull it out if you need it, and all the towing, and the wrench. All you need to do is push it in, okay? There you go. This one right here is a remote trunk. If you are still working, this car also have a feature called a soft close. So this one, I think all Audi A8 have this soft close. Is what you do is make kit love these. Don't have to close completely, it will suck itself in. That's called soft close. Same with the front. So make sure your soft 
foreclosed work before you buy the car or you're gonna it's gonna cost you a bunch of money and what is this one for the AAL I think they have this the pocket the uh, heated seat is standard the armrest If the original owner still have this, it's called the first aid kit, which I still have. And this one's for the kids to put their drinks on, but these are pretty ugly. Lift it up. Okay. Now, a lot of people bought car that don't have this uh, rear screen working so make sure they work or it's gonna cost you a few bucks to really fix it on the L you should have all the lights that's nice okay it's called vanity mirror or something um, So what's important? Make sure everything works. All right, when you open the door. Now this is car has the uh, ventilate ventilated seat and massage seat also. So this one is for the massage. When you push it, the lumbar support will come in and out. And this one also, if you see the para perforated, um, and here you should have the button right there. That one is for it's called air conditioning seat, but actually ventilated. It actually works really well in the hot day. I can feel it's cold. This one, make sure everything works. Up, down, see, this one's for the head rest, and this one, try all of these, they're really good. The memory is here, I use memory 2, and when we put memory 2, it's going to go back. One is my wife. Oh. So most of the Audi, they have the Econ uh, on off button here for the air conditioning. But this car doesn't have it, so you have to use setup. And you see the recon? Right now it's on. On me there's no air. So right now it's uh, 75 degrees. And this car now has 103,000 miles, but still everything is working. That's nice. So what we do now is turn it off. Oh, wrong. Set up. You have to use that little button here. Turn it off so the AC will come on. Right. So a lot of people didn't even know that when you turn on the heater, you need to turn off to turn the econ on. Now the econ on, which means the AC is off. All right. So right now the AC is on. Now I can feel cold. The heated the uh, air conditioning seat is actually working I can feel it's cold now the interface this is a CD if you have the AMI or the TV like mine you gotta turn it on where's my remote 
All right, people who have AMI, um, this is a CD changer, all right? And you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six CD. And I have the AMI aftermarket and a ten dollars iPod. All right, six gig I put in here. What? Uh, the most bus is this one is the optical most bus okay and if you look it have to be red that means it's working see that the AMI now is no longer working because it's open so now I'm going to put it back in Now nah, it should be working. Now nah, let me see. See when I unplug the uh, mouse bus, now it's reset itself. If everything's working, you should have it. So if you keep clicking the CD, it's gonna move to different sources. All right. I have CD. I have my interface, which is the MMI, with Led Zeppelin is playing. And now the TV. Hello. All right, so my car has the uh, TV installed. So. NASCAR on Fox, presented by Nationwide, is sponsored by Budweiser. Budweiser still brewed the hard way. This bug's for you. Everything works in the... If you click the source, you will see CD, which is a CD inside here. Audio music interface, AMI if you have it. TV if you have it. If not, then it's never, never installed. If you have a backup camera, it will come on. Alright. That's the graphical interface. If you have 2006 or higher, it will have that. Okay. Set the MMI. What you need to do is telephone, the big button, and the top. Reboot. Okay. So now, if you want to turn on the car uh, information, click car, and you can see right away the air suspension is there. So you make sure that all of these are working. So say if you put on lift and the white arrow until it turns red that means lifting it up right now until it's red that is lifted it's finished okay so now it should be higher and you can change make sure all of them is working you can click automatic when it's white it's doing it and when it's red it's done Okay, this is the one with the sport model, I mean, option. Wow, it does take forever for the automatic. Yep, so now it works, but I like the comfort, so I want to put the comfort, okay? You click system. Alright, so the button right here is for the system so button all four buttons there so system you have parking you have battery level you have background lighting you have central locking on all of them exterior lighting
now the exterior lighting you can turn the daytime running light on or off so I turn it off or if I have the LED I turn it on alright so whatever so instrument cluster speed warning I have it on alright I set it at 75 make sure I don't get ticket so what else do you have? Seat adjustment you can adjust. Tire pressure monitoring. Display. It's always off. Anyhow. Vehicle have ID number, you should see it. Windshield wiper. Every time you change the windshield wiper, you turn it on. Then it will move itself so that you can change it easily. Okay. All right. When you're in car, you want to hit setup. So on the setup, you will see the jack mode. It's very important that every time you jack the car up, you turn it on. All right. And then when you're done with it, you turn it off. The same with tail, uh, trailer towing mode. Alright. So on the setting, voice command system on. Make sure you have the repeat command because if not, when you say call somebody and it's got the wrong one, they dialed it right away. So. Uh, What's the version? 4610. All right, this is my software in here. Measurement units. Wow. Okay, you can change everything here. All right. Okay. All right. If you have um, the hidden menu programs you can hold car and setup hold it for a while and it will come up this is called a hidden menu but you have to turn it on from the uh, BCDS okay so normally you use a diac setting that's what you do but anyhow I don't go into that. So before you pick up any of these cars, make sure your Bluetooth is working with your phone. You see it's right here? It's connected. Alright. Now this one is called the voice activation hello important commands for the telephone are enter pin number dial number redial call and the name and you may additionally indicate at the office or at home for general help say help MMI call home would you like to call oh. at the office or at home? Yes. The number for oh. at office landline is being dialed. See how nice it is? So what we can do, we also can use it for navigation. Navigate to home. Navigation. Navigate to home. See? It come up right you away. Like to navigate to home. To the office or home address. Yes. Would you like to navigate to the indicated destination? Yes. Wow, that's nice. 
All right, thank you. So if you have the engine start without putting the key, then press the brake and hit engine start. It should come out. All right, turn it off. But you have to turn it off and hold it for it to lock. Okay. Need to make sure the Bluetooth is working. Voice activation is working. AM, FM, uh, CD. Navigation is working for sure. The suspension is very important that you make sure that it works because if it's not, it's going to cost you a bunch of money. So when you pick up the car, nothing in this car is cheap to fix. So if they don't work, make sure that they you'd never fix it because you don't want it. To me, it's only the trunk. If it doesn't pop up, it costs you five hundred fifty dollars to replace. You know the motor, and it works. So you put a spring in it, and it works. But anything else, the, any light that show up. Make sure that you do you don't need them. Okay. So this is a beautiful car, very comfortable to drive, but it costly to fix if you get the wrong one. I got this car two years ago, and I've been driving for thirty thousand miles without any problem oh it's amazing all right I want to drive in start and I'm gonna drive inside the garage with this car it's been This car is still original. So maybe it's in California. But if the car is a garage all the time and well taken care of, the battery should last a long time. Never fail me once, even when I leave it for weeks on vacation. All right. That's it. All right, when you have a key here and you put it in your pocket already and you want to lock the door, each of the door have a switch. So you can lock like this. There you go. Okay, so now if you get close, you have a smart key, you get close to it, to the door, it will automatically open. Okay, so that's also very important. This one, so every single door has a switch. And then if you walk to back to the trunk with the key in your pocket, you should be able to open the trunk also, even when it's locked. 